Movie World by Colin Miller and Spike Breakwell. Contents Introduction 2. A History of Film 4. Animated Films 10. A World of Movies 14. Making Pictures 30. Movies for Everyone 42. Glossary 44. Index 45. Introduction Whether it was around a campfire in the middle of the desert, in the evening in a town square, or in the hall of a Viking warrior, people have always loved to tell and listen to stories. Stories offer an escape from everyday life. People can imagine themselves as the hero or heroine and do things that they would never have the chance to do in reality. Films are another way of telling and sharing stories. They allow people to spend time in another world or place. They can be funny, sad, exciting or interesting. They can be enjoyed alone or in good company. The whole family, young and old, can all find something to enjoy in the same film. This book will show the different aspects of filmmaking around the world. It opens a door into a magical and creative world. Lights, camera, action. A history of film. The camera. An invention that changed the world. Today, movies are shown across the world, in many different languages and styles. But where did this worldwide industry come from? Who were the innovators of film? And who were the stars of their movies? The history of film begins with Louis and Auguste Lumière, who lived in Lyon, France. In 1894, the brothers designed and built a camera that could record moving images and project them onto a screen. They called it a cinematograph, and it became the standard movie camera for the next 25 years. The first movie shot with this camera followed a year later. It was called Workers Leaving the Lumiere Factory at Lyon, and showed just that. This is an early cinematograph. The operator had to turn a handle to make the camera work. A scene from workers leaving the Lumiere factory at Lyon. In 1902, a French movie maker, Georges Méliès, created a movie called Voyage to the Moon. It used special effects and it introduced colour to the screen by using hand-painted images. For many years, Georges' movie was thought to be the best ever made and other movie makers copied his ideas. Four years later, the first animated cartoon was produced. It was drawn and filmed by J. Stuart Blackton and was called Humorous Phases of Funny Faces. Later, other animators, like Walt Disney, followed his example. Only 16 years after the invention of the movie camera, there was a worldwide movie industry. Film Facts the word movie is short for moving pictures. Until 1895, people had only seen still pictures called photographs. Georges Méliès, hand-drawing his early animated film. Movies made before 1927 were silent. No one had worked out how to record and play back sound to fit the movie. Early cinemas had a piano player providing music to go with the film. First of the movie stars Charlie Chaplin was one of the very first film stars. Chaplin was born in London in 1889. His family were poor and Chaplin had to start working on the stage when he was still a young child. His life changed in 1913 when he was asked to go and act in America. American film producers saw Chaplin acting on the stage 
and offered him the chance to act on camera. Chaplin developed a comedy character called The Tramp, wearing a moustache, baggy trousers and big shoes for the role. Playing The Tramp made him one of Hollywood's first big silent movie stars. Charlie played the role for over 20 years in dozens of films, such as The Kid, Gold Rush and City Lights. He went on to become a major film producer. Chaplin's silent movies continued to be successful, long after films with sound had been developed. In the film Gold Rush, the tramp famously has to eat his boots. The Talkies The first words ever heard by a cinema audience were Wait a minute, wait a minute, you ain't heard nothing yet. The 1927 film was called The Jazz Singer. The ability to play back sound alongside the images in a film introduced a new era in filmmaking. The arrival of The Talkie, as the new talking pictures were called, let audiences hear the lines spoken by the actors and allowed filmmakers to tell much more interesting stories. In the 1930s, the talkies were enjoyed by many. Thanks to this popularity and full-colour movies like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, filmmaking exploded. Millions of people dreamed of becoming actors and living a life of fame and fortune. Thousands travelled from all over the world to the studios in Hollywood, but only very few became movie stars. The poster for the first talkie. Film facts. Before The Jazz Singer, filmmakers and directors had to display actors' lines and plot explanations on caption boards. Movies across the world. People all around the world wanted to tell their stories. Countries such as China, Japan, Malaysia and Nigeria began to produce their own movies. In India, for example, Bombay, now known as Mumbai, became a centre of movie-making excellence. The industry in Bombay became known as Bollywood after the studios in Hollywood. Bollywood movies are quite different in style and content to the Western movies, often using song and dance to portray the story. Their movies can be funny, tragic and moving all at once. Raja Harish Chandra by Dadasaheb Falk was released in 1913. It is thought to be the first silent feature film made in India. Some of the most famous and epic movies of Indian cinema were produced between the late 1940s and the 1960s, including Mother India, 1957, which was nominated for the Academy Award, called an Oscar, for Best Foreign Language Film. Bollywood films are still famous for their colourful costumes and dancing. Meena Kumari Meena Kumari was one of the most famous actresses in early Bollywood movies. She was born in 1932 in Bombay, India. Her birth name was Begum Majabin Bucks. She learned to act and dance when she was very young. Meena appeared in her first film, aged just six years old. She played Baby Meena in the 1939 film Leatherface. She changed her name to Meena Kumari in 1952, when she appeared in the film Baiju Bara. Meena's best-known film is Pakiza, which took 14 years to complete. Unfortunately, Meena did not live to see the film become a huge hit. She died in 1972, just as the film was released. Meena Kumari Poster for the movie Pakiza Animated films The first animations were not specifically created for children. They were enjoyed by everyone. Walt Disney is one of the best-known animators and creators of cartoon movies in the history of filmmaking. In 1928, he produced his first short animation film, which was called Steamboat Willie. At first, the little mouse in this animation 
was called Willie. In later films, Disney changed the name to Mickey Mouse. Disney's first full-length feature film, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, was released in 1937. Walt Disney Steamboat Willie, later known as Mickey Mouse Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs Many of Disney's movies have some common themes. They are often based on fairy tales from around the world and usually involve overcoming difficulties to find happiness. Today, many great animated films are made each year. However, the use of computer graphics, CGI, means that animators no longer have to hand-draw every frame of film. Finding Nemo Anime Japan's Fantastic Cartoon Makers Japanese animation, called anime in Japan, is as old as the film industry. Starting as far back as the early 1900s, the oldest surviving anime is Namakura Gatana, meaning blunt sword. Japanese animators like fast-paced action and fantastical characters. They can also portray very touching stories where children find ways to overcome adversity. One beautifully animated film is My Neighbor Totoro, released in 1988. Like most films made by Miyazaki's Studio Ghibli, this family film has a powerful ecological theme. Totoro and Satsuki wait for the bus in the rain in a scene from My Neighbor Totoro. Japanese anime continues to produce outstanding animations that transport the audience to amazing places and tell wonderfully imaginative stories. Anime is very stylized. For example, characters have bigger eyes than usual. This allows for many emotions to be shown clearly through the eyes. Film facts. Animated shorts, as they are called, only last a few minutes, but feature-length movies and animation can last up to two hours. An example of anime's style of animation. A world of movies. Hollywood, USA. Today, hundreds of movies are made all over the world. However, perhaps the most famous place for making movies is Hollywood near Los Angeles, in California. Movies have been made in Hollywood for over 100 years. About 600 films are made there every year. The three highest earning films of all time are Avatar, Star Wars and the 1939 epic Gone with the Wind. A film crew sets up lights and cameras for shooting. There are six major filmmaking studios in Hollywood. Disney, Universal, Warner Brothers, Fox, Paramount, Columbia. They all offer exciting tours that attract tens of thousands of visitors every year. Visitors can also see the Hollywood Walk of Fame. It features more than 2,600 five-pointed stars. They celebrate famous actors, actresses and directors. Fans often leave flowers on the stars of their favourite actors. Mickey Mouse's star. Woody Woodpecker. Film facts. The cartoon characters Woody Woodpecker, Bugs Bunny and Mickey Mouse all have their own stars. Hollywood star. Steven Spielberg, director. Born in 1946 in the United States of America, Steven Spielberg made several short films when he was still a child, using his father's film camera. He became one of the youngest television directors for Universal Studios in the late 1960s. He made a film called Duel for Television. Movie makers saw this film and liked it. They gave him the chance to direct for the cinema. His films often explore people's fears, as in Jaws, 1975. Others explore the idea of visitors from outer space, as in Close Encounters of the Third Kind, 1977, and E.T., 1982. 
Spielberg has become well known for making blockbuster movies, such as Raiders of the Lost Ark, and in 1993, Jurassic Park, about an island where dinosaurs have been brought back to life. Spielberg directed the 2011 animated film The Adventures of Tintin, based on the popular comic series by Hergé. However, it was his film version of War Horse 2011 that won him most praise from critics and other filmmakers. The movie received six Academy Award nominations. Bollywood, India India produced its first film in 1899, 11 years before the first Hollywood movie. In the 1970s, India cinema overtook America as the place where the greatest number of films are made. The film industry in India became known as Bollywood. Bollywood is estimated to employ over 300,000 people. There are 13 major studios, producing many, many movies. Do Ankain Barahath is the first Indian film to have won the Golden Globe Award. The Film Fair Awards are the Bollywood equivalent of the Academy Awards, Oscars. There have been 62 ceremonies since the awards first started. A Golden Globe Dilwali Dahanya Lejeenge is the longest running movie in the world. It has been running in cinemas for over 1,000 weeks. Bollywood dancers on the film set. Priyanka Chopra won a Filmfare Award in 2016. Bollywood star. Salman Khan. Born in 1965, Salman Khan is an actor, producer, television personality and singer. He is one of the biggest stars in Bollywood. He has been in the movie business for 30 years. His acting debut was a supporting role in the 1988 film Bibi Hotu Aisi. He was so good that he was given the lead role in his next movie. His many awards include two National Film Awards as a producer and two Filmfare Awards as an actor. In 2011, he launched his own production company called SKBH Productions. The first movie he made with SKBH was Chiller Party, which went on to win three national awards for Best Children's Film, Best Original Screenplay and Child Artists Award. Nollywood, Nigeria The first film in Nigeria was called Palava and was made in 1926. However, Nigerian cinema did not really start to grow rapidly until the 1990s. This was when home video cameras became easier to buy in Nigeria. The movie industry became nicknamed Nollywood, and for a short period in the 2000s, more films were being made in Nigeria than in Hollywood. Safi Fay was the first African female director to become known around the world. Nollywood star Genevieve Naji. Genevieve was born on May 3, 1979, in Mbaze, Nigeria. She started her acting career as a child actress in the then popular television series Ripples at the age of eight. In 1998, at the age of 19, she was introduced into the growing Nigerian film industry with the movie Most Wanted. In 2010, she starred in the award-winning film EJ, The Journey. In this film, Naji plays a young Nigerian woman travelling to the USA to help her sister. Genevieve has received several awards and nominations for her work, including the Best Actress of the Year Award at the 2001 City People Awards and the Best Actress in a Leading Role Award at the 2005 Africa Movie Academy Awards. As well as acting, Genevieve can also sing. Film Facts Genevieve has appeared in over 80 films. China Cinema was introduced in China in 1896 and the first Chinese film, The Battle of Ding Junshan, 
was made in 1905. China is now home to the largest film studio in the world, the Hengdian World Studios. In 2010, it had the third largest film industry by number of feature films produced annually. The Hengdian Studio Complex During the 1920s and 1930s, the Chinese film industry grew. The greatest Chinese director of this time was Fei Mu. This is a still from Fei Mu's most acclaimed film, Spring in a Small Town. Zhang Yimou, top of China's directors. Zhang Yimou is one of China's top directors. He has won many awards from all over the world, not just China. He has won awards at the Cannes Film Festival, Academy Awards and elsewhere. His movie Hero was one of the few foreign language films to debut at number one at the American box office. He directed the opening and closing ceremonies of the 2008 Beijing Summer Olympic Games. Chinese star Jackie Chan Jackie Chan was born on the 7th of April 1954 in Hong Kong. His parents nicknamed him Cannonball because he was always rolling around. At eight years old, he appeared in the film Big and Little Wong Tin Ba, released in 1962. In 1976, Jackie received a message from Willie Chan, a film producer in Hong Kong, who had been impressed with Jackie's work. Willie Chan became Jackie's personal manager and firm friend, and has remained so for over 30 years. In 1995, Jackie appeared in Rumble in the Bronx, which is still very popular today. Jackie Chan in action in Thunderbolt. He is best known for his martial arts films, performing many stunts himself. Jackie has been working in the movie industry for over 50 years. In his spare time, he runs charities for the poor in Hong Kong and teaches at the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Jackie Chang uses his skills as a master of martial arts in many of his movies. Japan Movies were first produced in Japan in early 1897 by Inabata Katsutaro. The first successful film was shot later the same year and showed the sights of Tokyo. Early films were heavily influenced by traditional theatre. They were silent and narrators used to sit next to the screen to tell the audience what was happening. The first female Japanese performer to appear in a film professionally was the dancer and actress Tokoku Nagai Takagi, who appeared in four American films between 1911 and 1914. The Captain's Daughter was one of the first films with sound in Japan. It was released in 1917. Japan became famous for anime movies and monster movies with characters like Godzilla. Tokuku Nagai Takagi in her finest clothes. Child characters in anime films have big expressive eyes. Japanese star Godzilla. In the 1950s to 1970s, Japanese movie makers were monster mad. They made dozens of movies about all kinds of monsters, but the most famous of all was Godzilla, a 100-metre-tall monster who stamps through Tokyo. Godzilla first appeared in 1954 in a Tokusatsu movie, meaning film with special effects. In the first film, Godzilla was played by an actor in a latex suit. The newest Hollywood version was made using CGI effects. Making pictures. The movie making process. When a movie is made, most filmmakers follow the method outlined here. 1. Script writing and storyboard. A film usually begins with someone having an idea of a story they want to tell. It could be a funny, sad, romantic, or scary story. A script writer takes this idea and writes a story around it. This is called the script. 
The scriptwriter will describe what the audience will see on the screen. They will write where each scene is set, whether it takes place during the day or at night, and, most importantly, what the actors will do and say. An artist will then be asked to draw each scene as a series of small cartoons. This is known as the storyboard. Film facts. The script may be written many times before everyone is happy. The storyboard to a famous film. Guess which one? Two. Funding. The next step is an important one. In order to make the film, money must be found to cover the costs of filming and to pay the actors and crew. Filming can be very expensive. The person finding this money. Is called the producer. The producer might go to a number of different people and ask them to invest in the film. They will show them the storyboard and the script, and say, "This is a brilliant film we want to make. Will you help?" When the producer is happy that there is enough money available, the next stage in the process can begin. Three, casting. Once a film has funding, the characters must be cast. This is when actors are chosen to act as the different people in the story. This usually happens at an audition. The director is in charge of what the film looks like. They will listen to an actor reading part of the script aloud. If the director likes it, the actor will be asked to play the character in the movie. If the director decides on a big star, he may have to hold up the start of filming until the star is ready, and really big stars demand big wages. Film facts: When the director says "action," they are telling the actors to begin doing what it says they are to do in the script. An actor auditioning for a film role. Four, locations and shooting schedule. Once the actors have been chosen, the director and producer must decide where and when each scene is to be shot. The order the scenes are shot is what is called the shooting schedule. A location finder will be asked to find suitable places to film scenes that cannot be filmed in a studio. Sometimes an outside place can be recreated indoors in a studio, but it is usually better to film the real thing. Sometimes movies require filming in the most difficult locations, like jungles or mountains. Five, filming. Filming can take many weeks. Each scene is filmed from many different angles, with everyone making sure it is as good as it can be. The actors will have to say their words correctly, the lighting and the sound will have to be perfect, and the camera operators will have to have filmed the action. All that work for just one scene. Six, behind the camera. This is the director. She's very important. Her job is to make the film look good on screen. She helps decide how scenes are shot by planning who is in the scene and from what angle the scene is filmed. This is the camera operator. It's his job to film while the actors are acting their parts in the film. This is the lighting operator. Every scene is different and needs different lighting. Just as a sound person will put scary sound effects into a horror film, the lighting operator will make sure there are lots of shadows where the monsters can hide. It's like painting with light. This is the sound operator. Unless it's silent. A film will need good sound. Actors need to be heard clearly, or the audience won't know what's going on. Here is the key grip. Film sets often require lots of building, scaffolding, and preparation work. The key grip is in charge of a team of grips who make sure the set is ready and everything needed for each scene is in place. The boom swinger has the microphone attached to a very long pole. It's his job to get the microphone as near to the actors as possible without it being seen. These are extras. They have no lines to speak, 
but they act out small parts while the camera focuses on the main actors and actresses. Some epic movies have thousands of extras. 7. Editing After the action has been filmed, the director will work with a film editor to put the scenes in the correct order. In the early days of movie making, this was done with scissors and glue, actually cutting the film up and sticking it together in a different order. Now it is done on computer. 8. Promotion When the director and film editor are happy that the movie will look great and tells the story well, the producer will organise the promotion of the movie. This involves a variety of different things. A trailer is created giving a brief glimpse of the movie which is shown in cinemas before the film is released. The stars and director may be asked to give interviews on TV, radio, newspapers and magazines. Advertisements will be taken out in newspapers and large posters called billboards will be put up in towns and cities. This is done to try to attract as big an audience as possible. Nine. The Review When a movie is released, it is important that people know what it is about and whether it is a good or a bad film. Journalists will see a film and write their opinions about it. A review can be both good or bad. Here is a review for a dinosaur movie. Dinosaurs don't sing. The latest film release is the animated dinosaur comedy, Dinosaurs Don't Sing. The story takes place in the Cretaceous era and follows a young T-Rex called Terry and his efforts to form a pop group with his dinosaur friends. His efforts are initially thwarted by his parents and the other older dinosaurs who can't or won't understand what the point of a pop group is. Terry keeps going and the movie follows the group's adventures, triumphs and failures with an ending that will leave viewers of all ages charmed and delighted. With a soundtrack of original songs by the rock group The Reapers, everyone will leave the cinema humming the tunes. The animation is imaginative, bright and colourful, without being fussy. The characters have a realism that has the viewer believing in them. What sets this film above others of its type is the script. It has jokes aimed at the younger viewers, yet it has enough jokes to keep the grown-ups entertained. The lead actors Dave McClure as Terry and Babette Moncur as Jenny the Stegosaurus both excel themselves and genuinely sound like they had a great time voicing the characters. The performances lift this movie to new heights and give it such a warm feeling you'll leave the cinema glowing. One minor fault that could be picked with this movie is that Terry passed the problems in his way a little too easily. This doesn't, in general, spoil the movie in any way, but it holds it back a little. All in all, this is a great family movie that will make you laugh out loud a lot, cry a little and have your feet tapping to the music. If you only see one animated film this year, make it this one. 10. The Premiere At last, the film is ready to be seen by an audience. The premiere is usually a very glamorous occasion, with the actors and the crew arriving at the cinema in their best clothes to have their photographs taken. Journalists watch the film alongside the stars and crew. They then write reviews for newspapers, magazines and blogs. People reading the reviews can then decide if they want to see the film too. Film Facts a premiere is the first time the whole film is seen by the public. Movies for everyone Making a movie is a long and complicated process involving many different people with very special skills. Movies today are one of the main forms of entertainment all around the world. Hundreds of new films are made each year and new stars appear on screen at the cinema and all over the news and internet to promote their films. 
At a time with so much digital technology, it has never been easier to watch a movie. Yet, while many new movies will soon be forgotten, the really great movies will be remembered for a long time. Great stars, great scenes, and a great script will always produce a great movie. Thousands of movies are made by thousands of people about many subjects, from space exploration to imaginary worlds under the sea. People watch movies that were made with the latest special effects, but they also enjoy movies for decades after they were made. Glossary, adversity, difficulty, computer graphics, effects and pictures made with a computer, debut, first appearance or showing, ecological, relating to looking after the planet. Epic, long and often involving a hero or heroine. Exploded, increased very fast. Fantastical, from one's imagination. Fairy tales, traditional stories for children. Feature film, long film, usually over an hour. Industry, business. Innovators, people who have new ideas and who try new things. Latex, type of rubber. Martial arts, sports related to self-defense and attack, often from countries in Asia. Method, way of doing something. Nominated, entered for an award. Portray. Show. Project. Shine onto a surface. Special effects. Sounds and graphics that help a movie seem real to the audience. Still. Photo or single shot from a film. Studios. Places where films are made. Thwarted. Prevented from doing something. Trailer. Short sample of film to see what it is like.